Hello, eventually I got this vehicle AI writing. So firstly, we do the keyword mapping and then we understand what topics from left to right, side level keyword mapping on the same page. This is important because it is blocking me to write more contents recently. So I developed this new tool like a uh, contest mice. Right, so to generate the content, like taking notes, manage internal links, and add some external resources within this tool, so I can write more content. And the second will be do the related keywords research, and I want to select some keywords and copy the the related one for the Wahilo AI and paste it into those keyword assistant to be listed and to be included by Wahilo AI. It is automatic. And now I am generating the headlines. This is the first step. It is easy, so I just need to pick the favorite one and but sometimes you you need to uh, understand you you input some keywords it work, but it's better to clarify our intention for AI to identify what from us to write. This improve improving. The fourth will be like the semantic keywords generating. I use different tools. This is from similar content below. Right, and sometimes I use Labrica. This is just uh, simply doing the text mining and classification. So it is based on top 10 for the highest ranking position in Google. There are a lot of uh, arguments and doubts for this method, but it worked for me and I stick to this method no matter how. So it is like kind of like uh, improving uh, my performance. In fact, latent semantic analysis or also index LSI LSI is different from the term frequency inverse document frequency so called TF IDF. I probably apply both and if you check my previous video, I use other tools like uh, for, for a trial to tell people, okay, we can use um, Simply Content Pro and Labrica for those LSA keywords. But I demonstrate a, a video using SEO Power Suite for the TF-IDF. And you, you can also use other tools as you want, like uh, Lighter Zen and many other like phrase. I don't know. You know, I, I don't get used to too much tools. It worked. Th those tools worked and Anyway, I just grabbed some keywords and list it in the keyword system and Wahilo AI and they, they can help me to embed the, or include the, those keywords into the content naturally and most important, it is automatic, right? Automatically inclusion. So, I love this feature because I am expecting for a very really long time, like half a year, maybe, no, nine months, nine months already. So the fifth step will be generating outlines. This can be done automatically, but I usually manual, manually add some outlines by myself because you know it is not that perfect when AI just generates some 
outlines for you. We can see some keywords already included in this step. And I really love this kind of uh, feature. You know what keywords has already included, what keywords should be included, but now we have to like uh, alter somewhere and make it to be included. For now, we should always add more allies when necessary. By content format structure, like you, you think it is, it is needed to be in, included some allies, or maybe you can get some inspiration from the listing keywords from the left. Uh, like uh, in, you can just chuck into the those keyword assistant keywords there. And in this step, I think outlines should be long and logic for better content generating. We can always improve this bit after we finish the content. Like uh, we shorten those outlines when we finish the whole article. And but for now, for the generating process, we make it longer. And this is better for AI to understand our intent to write better content. And I usually suggest people to do this way, but I, I think you can try and decide what is better. And the sixth step is like uh, generating the content. For each outline, you just highlight and use the locked content. You don't need to switch from one tool to another tool like before. For now, you, you just are like uh, repeated, like a uh, automatic work. I think I am generating the content quite like a no break work here, right? You can see that I just, okay, highlight and generate, highlight, generate, and I didn't select any keywords. The new editor is quite improved and it allows us not to find and select keywords and the keyword inclusion is automatically working. And I love it so much. In before, you might say, okay, I need to select some keywords, but when you um, input a lot of keywords, like a long list, you might think this like it's quite heavy work for us, right? So I don't like it. And but I wanted to include a lot of keywords, so I am expecting this keyword system. But now we can see we're generating about 1,200 words and half of my selected keywords were included. And I love this so much because, you know, when people are saying, okay, you can see these keywords are important in the top 10, so it, it should be included in your article and then you can outline them. Otherwise, you might not even have a chance to compete with them because Google will just take you in other competition. So I just highlight some sentence and select left keywords. We can generate more related keywords contents because um, you know it is important because some keywords we are not naturally or, or say automatically include. So we can use the AI and force it force the AI to generate the content for us. And it is quite simple because you have a shorter list to do so, right? And you just look into different parts, different outlines. Sometimes we can even find some subtopics to be covered. It is amazing to use those AI tools in this way. So I think that's why I 
share and, and discuss with the Wahila AI developing team in this type of me, uh, um, feature. And so they finally do the hard work for us. And now we are enjoying those keywords inclusion. I can easily write about 2,000 words and I don't use any specific tools yet, right? For now, you, you didn't see anything. I just, I, I don't need to click into those, like uh, the top one, the keyword writing, like uh, I just, I just need to use the AI writing tools. For now, I use it. So it's the block paragraphs because it is into the final step. It optimize the content. You might see some content are similar or duplicate. We need to edit and improve those content. And this job is easier because we have the specific tools. Sometimes you might use the block paragraphs mostly, and sometimes you can use other tools for specific, like the, like Quora answers, like uh, pros and cons, something like that. I'd love to address there are a lot of uh, block paragraphs tools in this Wahila AI. No doubt, I prefer using the lucky icon one, right? In the first stage. And eventually I might use some somewhere in the in the uh, keyword I I cannot include. So with this the other block paragraphs. So and in this way I can include most of them. So totally seven steps for Hilo AI writing now I am presenting here. The first is uh, keyword mapping. The second is like a related keyword generating. The first is generating headlines, semantic keywords fourth. And five is generating outlines, right? And six, generate content. We just highlight the outlines to generate content. And eventually we improve some part of it and we call it like uh, optimize the content. But eventually we include most of our keywords. This is it. Thank you.